Okay, well as you can see I'm back at the North Wales Hospital aka Denby Mental and in this video I'm going to have a, a full walkabout, full tour so to speak um, of the NWH. It's a nice day, nice sunny day, a bit breezy but uh, like I say nice and sunny. So anyway I'm starting at the front gate as you can see there and I'm just going to basically take a walk around um, I'm not going to enter, I might enter one or two buildings, but basically it's just a walk around the grounds. So, let's get going. As you can see, nearing the really impressive front buildings of the NWH which has had a new roof put on it uh, yep there it is really impressive a few windows broken down to the vandals but uh, yeah really impressive as you're coming up the uh, drive there lovely day for a walk around the mental and with regards to trespassing hang on a sec bear with me just uh, uh, with regards to trespassing uh, put it this way uh, I have had well permission is it or put it another way a certain someone does know that I'm in the grounds so there's no problem there you may have seen some of my recent videos um, of me and Elwyn. Um, we, we've had our differences in the past but it's all sorted now so anyway he knows I'm in the ground. Yeah beautiful day for a walk around the mental. Just heading towards the uh, nurse's home there. Just see it through the trees. And I won't be covering much of the nurse's home because I've got several, well, well, yeah, I've got several videos of the uh, outside and inside of the nurse's home. Um, so, like I say, I'm not going to enter many of the bill. I might enter just one or two, but, you know, see how it goes. Because, in my opinion, they're not worth, they're not worth entering, really. They're, you know, they're falling down. They're dangerous as well. Really dangerous. But, yeah, it's great to have a wander around. Especially on a day like today. And especially when you don't have to keep looking over your shoulder. <coughs> Almost every piece of glass that you can see in these buildings all smashed. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's just the, uh, you know, the idiots that come here. You know, it's not the uh, genuine urban explorers. You know, they just get these, these bloody plunkers coming in and just do damage. Just depends on how long this video is. It's going to be a pretty long one. I might do it in separate parts, you know. So 
it's not like a half hour long video you can have watch part one and then part two at another time and whatever so anyway let's keep going But nice and sunny. It's not cold, but just windy. Anyway, there's the uh, nurse's home there. But I won't be doing much on that because I've covered that in a few videos. So I hope you can hear me. It's quite frustrating at the moment. Heading down into the centre of the uh, NWH. Hopefully, it'll be a bit sheltered there. Very really windy today, and parts anyway, but hopefully, sheltered by the buildings. There's <clears throat> the silos there, just through the trees. Like I say, I'll be walking around the full. All the grounds are the mental, um, so you'll see more or less everything. I'm just entering the, uh, more of what is the centre of the uh, hospital now. See the uh, security fence in there? It's not only the buildings that are getting smashed and damaged, but the security fencing and whatever. Smashing that to get in. All the windows there, uh, it's not weather that's done that. It's bloody vandals. on the milk crates and bottles. Can you see that? Right, I'm right more or less in the centre of the uh, complex now. The back of the, uh, the clock tower there. Quite sheltered here too, which I thought it would be. You can see the bit of the new roof that they've put on there. Just under a million quid's worth. Just on the front sections. Haven for wildlife as well. See that uh, window there, it's falling through. This is the uh, front buildings. See all the floors have been stripped away. A 
very dangerous place at night. I would not recommend coming here at night, not only from entering the buildings, but also the outside as well. There's drain covers um, being taken away and that, you know, you'd be walking along next minute you suddenly drop down a drain cover, which is uh, no picnic. Anyway, let's keep going with the tour. The silos there in the back, which I'll be heading for now. And a lot of people they climb them silos, um, which is not recommended really. Not only it's dangerous, you don't know if that ladder is going to hold, but you can be seen from a wide area. So it's not recommended really. But, like I say, a lot do it. Wind's picked up again. Let's pop in here. See that? Very dangerous. And beams. And then coming down on you. And also, as you can see, roof caving in there. You know about it. That hit you. And also, you can see it's come down here as well. Yeah, like I say, I've said in a few videos, um, I'm not a great fan of entering the buildings. Because um, you know, basically they are dangerous and there's not a lot to see. You know, I could go upstairs there, but I just like to wander around the outside. Anyway, let's keep going with the tour. Heading towards the silos now. Just approaching uh, male eighth ward. Which is here. Hell of a mess. See the uh, the rails there where they used to have the curtains around the beds. Some there as well. Spray paint and damage and everything. Hell of a shame. There's no need for it.
Look where the door's been smashed there. Crazy man. Absolutely crazy. You know, come and have a look at these places, but there's no need to smash the place. Do any damage, you know. Never work them up. These are the bogs. Anyway, this is Mail 8 Ward. I used to know, oh, we're going back years now, I used to know all the wards and everything, but you know, as time passes, you forget, don't you? But yeah, anyway, Mail 8 Ward. Silos. All the glass is all the glass smashed there. Eh? Like I say, it's a lot of this is not the weather, it's just vandals. Bear with me, just uh, making a few adjustments on the camera there. It's a bit overgrown since I was last here. Beautiful now. See the way bridge here. And there's the silos. And on this corner here, used to be the chimney big massive brick chimney but obviously not here today so yeah anyway it's the silos the breeze hit me again it's quite sheltered there Anyway, I'll just pop. Oh yeah, I'll just pop into the one of this building on the left here. Have a quick squint round. Scales there. If you look on urban explorer sites, you'll see a lot of photos of that. Like I said earlier, I'm not a big fan of entering the buildings really. Not much to see, to be honest. I just like a good wander around the outside. Back out into the wind again, so you'll have to bear with me.
canteen just coming into view here. Well, just in the back of it is the front of it. picked a, a calmer day really. I didn't realise it was going to be this windy. But anyway, I'm here now. It's going down to the cinder truck. It's where we used to go down to the pavilion when we were kids on our push bikes. Cycle through the south uh, to go around it. You're lazy buggers. enjoying this tour by the way before everything changes big plans housing development and everything so it may not be here for too long And if you've been watching my other videos, I'm now entering what I think is a haunted hotspot. A few sightings in these windows here. Apparitions. You never know. Might have got something on camera today, but anyway, if you haven't seen the videos, take a look. Very eerie place where I am in now. Definitely a hot spot, haunted hot spot, I should say. Just heard a boom then. I don't know if the camera I was looking the other way. I don't know if it's a, it's a door blowing in the wind. I'll tell you what, it'd be creepy here at night. Very creepy. You hear all these noises. I think it was this that was the. Yeah. See another section of the, uh, the roof there. The new roof. Very eerie. Blowing like hell outside, windy and here. You can hear a pin drop. It's the sound. So you gotta watch as well. Don't know if you can, I think the camera's probably making it up but if you were here at night and you walked in there, you fall in there, you don't think you'd get out. If you were on your own anyway. Deathly silence in here.
stairs going up to the top floors, but I'm not bothering going to the top floors. They're probably not there anyway. It's going down to the cellars, but like I say, I'm not I'm no big fan of entering. I will enter one or two of the buildings, but I'm not a great fan to be honest. Anyway, back out in the wind. It was weird in there. Deathly silent. Anyway. Onwards with the tour. I'll just pop around this corner. Uh, it's another, well, apparition, as that I've managed to capture on camera. And it looks like it's the head and shoulders of someone looking through the window. That's what it appears to be. So I don't know what, if it was a patient or what, you know, if that was his room or, you know, and they'd like to sit there and look out the window or whatever, but let's just show you it now. I don't know, make I capture something on camera. Just round the corner here. Uh, a bit overgrown since I was here in this suction. It's that window at the top there, that open window. Probably not a floor there, but it's, it's like as if there's a head and shoulders of someone sitting there or whatever. See again how dangerous it is in here. Something could just suddenly drop on you, or you could put your foot through there and you could easily break your leg, or actually just just go through the floor itself. Places you just. Uh, go. In some places the floor just give way. Weird smell in there. I guess very strong musty smell. Thought the floor was going to go on me then. Tour. Hope you're enjoying it. Making my way back to the uh, front buildings again now, and that'll be the tour complete. Sometimes there's a, this, this entrance here is blocked off, but it's been opened again. So when you went back at the front now, really impressive these front buildings. Watch I don't trip over the uh, security fencing. The actual front door there. So that's it, it's my uh, tour of the North Hills Hospital in Denby. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again.